Well, hello again, everybody. Ron Matches here again. Well, today we're going to do another box opening video. Uh, and occasionally I have my grandkids help me. Uh, but today, my granddaughter thinks she wants to do it all by herself. She wants to solo. So I guess we better get started because she's the boss and she says so. So here we go. Okay. Action. Hi, I'm Emily and we're going to do a box opening video today. We're going to box open this meteorite that came all the way from China. How far is China from here? Uh, <laughs> I don't know either. Like a zillion miles. Nine hundred feet. Okay. That's um, good. We're going to, I'm going to open this box and I finally get to use the brain. <laughs> After like, I don't know, like seven years or something. Anyways, let's get right to the action. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cut away from me. There you go. Die! <laughs> yeah, there you go, cut like that. Just, just drag it along the top. Wow, I'm a bad cutter. <laughs> You're doing just fine. Box is sticky. Sticky? It's a, yeah, the, well, the it's inside like styrofoam. Part. The okay. inside part. Right, keep going. Tiny fireball fighting. There you go. Ooh, there's the piece. So let's take it out. Just to pull the. Got more plastic. Heavy. Yeah, of course. I don't want to, like, break it. You want some help with that? You're not going to break it. You just keep your hands out of the way. That's all. It's wrapped very well. There you go. You're getting it. There we go. Yeah, okay, I think it's all trash pile. There. There we go. And so what do we have? Um, I gotta take it out of the bag. Okay. But I honestly don't know what kind of meter this is. I yeah, what shape is it? It's a sphere. There you go. Okay, bring it up to the camera. Now a that's closer. a nice one. Yeah, let's, okay, just a minute. Very wet. It's wet? I yeah, hope it's, hope like, it's not it wet. It's wet. It might be just it's cold. It's wet. See, so feel it. It's, it's a wet. little, let's say it feels a little sticky, but it's, it's not. It's wet. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably clean it and polish it up a little bit, see if I can bring out more of the luster. Mm -hmm. So, you that's your first solo box opening. Very good. <laughs> okay. Wait, didn't you say we, I could do like a part okay, we have the to, splits? Okay, show me. Okay, so just a minute. All right, so I'm going to compare this one to another one of my Zeta's meteorites that he has. It's just a little smaller, as you can see. And it's just a little smaller. <laughs> as you can compare yes. it, it's a little smaller in size. So they're, I think they're the same here, are they? The same know. kind of meteorite, yes. Same kind of meteorite, just this one's bigger and this one's smaller. Yeah. So Emily had to show off her, her split technique she, that she learned me to do this. in dance he class. She told me to do this. <laughs> that was all, all her idea. No, not true. <laughs> not true. False. Okay. You want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's the next day. Emily's gone home. Uh... <laughs> She has quite the active imagination, as you can see. She was a button. Anyway, uh, we'll take a closer look at the at the at the sphere. It's a it's a Mwanyin Lusta sphere that I got from a fellow in China. I'm in the spheres lately, so this may be my last one, unless there's a really super nice one coming up. So let's take another look. So this is my new 175 gram Mwanyin Lusta sphere. Came out of China. Nice looking piece. It does have a slight flaw. It's not exactly a sphere. It's slightly 
oblong because it doesn't roll nice. It has a slightly off-centered balance point to it. But still, nice looking piece. Let's get a little closer look at this thing. Let's get it closer to the camera, see more of the detail. Fine octahedrite. Unless you roll it around, you can't tell it's slightly oblong. It looks like a perfect sphere. It's, it's very close. Let's take a couple of measurements of this puppy. Got my old caliper out that I used to use back in the day. It's not the fancy type of a digital readout. So this is reading about 35 millimeters. It's 1.383 inches. Take another reading here. It's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. It is handmade, I believe. 1.385. So this sphere was advertised as 175 grams. So let's see how we're doing. 175.16, right on the button. So that's good. So with that, I'm going to put this on the shelf of round things. Because there's a lot of round things there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my granddaughter do her first ever solo box opening. I know I enjoyed the heck out of it. So until next time, Ron Metz is signing off and uh, enjoy the video. Bye.